sorry, I didn't mean to clear my throat just as I go live. That's awkward. Oh no, not my game. Buffering. It's not even- it's not even modded! This is vanilla. Oh, there we go. I was just overreact- well, of course I was. I don't know why my game is, like, being glitchy. Like I said, it's vanilla, so I don't know why it's, it's acting this way, but... Okay! Is this save, like, corrupted or something? Oh, there we go. That took longer than expected. That was kind of scary. Good humor. You better be. Oh look, a parsnip. Do I have the community center open? Is that today? Or is that tomorrow? Craft a furnace. I have to give somebody a gift. And reach level one and blah 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 blah. Okay. Sorry. I don't know where my brain is today. I apologize. Um, okay, I'm gonna sell that. Well, no, I'll keep that because then I can put that one in. Oh, now Stream Elements is finally kicking in. Took you long enough, Stream Elements. Okay, I need two more. Why do I have two of these? Um, okay, I need two more seeds. Sorry, my brain is like short circuiting right now. <coughs> two seeds. I'll probably go fishing more. Because why not? I don't see why not. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know where actually. I was going to say maybe at the beach, but if I look at the fish again, then I'll probably change my mind. And hopefully we can find Sam so we can give him this Joja Cola. You know, the usual. <coughs> I don't know who I'm going to marry in this game. Um, I'll probably just, you know, befriend people as I go along. And then decide after. Um, I've married, on my personal saves, I have married Maru, Sam, and Elliot. So I might go for somebody that's not one of them. <laughs> I forget, like, all the mechanics of early game. I don't know why I kept a herring, either. Did I do remixed? Is that why I kept it? Because I'm not sure what I'm doing? I might have done remixed, um... Community bundle, and I... Community center, and I don't remember. I don't know. But yeah, we'll just go... We'll go fishing. I don't know why, but, you know, why not? I mean, you could argue that as well.
Sorry for the big sigh. I'm kind of just, I'm kind of stressed to be honest, because there's been news people and cops here like all week, and it's kind of frustrating and stressful and scary. The community center. Also, I just, I, I know you guys can't see because you see my model. And yeah, my model doesn't have glasses on, but I got new glasses on today. And I'm, I'm living for them. They're my favorite now. I mean, Mayor Lewis made a point because he said kids- Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. Because he says kids would rather sit and watch TV than be involved with the community. And I agree because I am one of those people. I don't like being around strangers. <laughs> it gives me anxiety. And like, I don't- I don't necessarily know how to make small talk to people I don't know. Like, people at the store try to make small talk with me and I'm just like- confused because I don't understand I don't understand why like I don't know you not really you know my cup of tea but you know like I don't mind the idea of like community service like I would I would do something nice for the community I'm just not one of being involved <laughs> in the community you know that sounds that probably sounds so weird, but like I've done, for instance, I've done community service before, but I usually go in places where it's like low key. Like I've done community service at the library, you know, someplace quiet and calm and not as many people, which is kind of sad, you know. I feel bad that libraries are becoming obsolete. I don't know how we're getting on this on this topic, but yeah, it makes me sad that uh, that libraries are going obsolete. But that is one of my favorite places to do community service at because it's quiet. There's not as many people. Like you don't need to feel forced into like talking with people. You can just sit there, do your work, you know, sort things, you know, all that, and. Just be peaceful. <laughs> I've considered doing a JoJo run, but I'm not going to. Not this time, at least. I have I have difficulty uh, doing villain runs in games, and I consider JoJo to be the villain run in this game. I mean, it quite obviously is. Not to say all corporations are, like, evil, but a majority. <gasps> I hear an Odin. Oh, yeah, nobody's, nobody's redeemed any cookies yet. No. He literally comes over and sits down. And he'll nudge something on my desk like, Hey, are you sure? Pay attention to me. <laughs> Dilapidated. Sorry, I'm pouring one soda into the other soda. 
I'm trying not to make a mess. Junimos are so cute. Rats! Those are some funny looking rats! He's concerned about us seeing things, but then offers to keep it open so we can catch the rat. Nobody else, just us. But he's already concerned of, for us for seeing a rat. Like, fix your priorities, Mary Lewis. Are you concerned for me, or do you want me to do this job all on my own? Hi, Harvey. Ah, oh, seaweed. I could do that. Um, oh, excuse me. Is Mary Lewis's... Yeah, Mary Lewis's birthday is tomorrow. Oh, Sam's probably awake, but not out of his room. So I shouldn't do that. Go on, Harvey, get out of eyesight. Cookies! I don't think anybody loves cookies, they just like cookies. So that's a little annoying. <gasps> Sam! Thank you so much, Sam. Thanks, I really like this. Oh, I like that you're outside. <gasps> Savage! What's up? How are you? I'm all by myself today. I'm not as entertaining on my own. <coughs> Vincent? Yes, Vincent, take these cookies. Oh, Dad's coming back soon. No, he comes back in a year from now. <coughs> and that's kind of selfish. As a child, I was never one to, like, beg for toys. So when kids do it, I'm very confused. I, I just, I don't know. I was never the type to, like, ask for toys. Or beg for toys. Like, I would literally just play with the toy in the store. And my parents would be like, do you want it? I'd be like, no, I just wanted to play with it. I just wasn't a materialistic kid. I, I would say I'm not now either. Like, of course, I like I like video games and stuff, but I'm not like the kind of person to rush out and like buy the latest console or stuff like that. I don't know why my game did that. Hey, Winter! What's up? How are you? Just playing some relaxing Stardew. Because I'm all alone. I was about to start singing all by myself.
Oh, I thought you were gonna say you're dancing uh, with yourself. That's a great uh, Billy Idol song. Oh wait, I'm gonna change my screen because I just realized you guys can't see my little energy bar. So give me one moment and I will fix that. Transform, edit, transform. Oh shit. I can't edit. Okay, there we go. It's because I can't edit it if I can't see it. So we're gonna do that. There we go. Much better. All I want is some goddamn seaweed. And instead you give me fish. How disappointing. Or the other version? What do you mean? What do you mean, Winter? Are you talking about the other version to all by myself? Oh my god! I've never heard that one. Is that like an actual parody? I just want some goddamn seaweed. <laughs> That's all I want. That's insane. I mean, I could I could see it being a thing. I just think it's crazy that Oh, I know! How dare you give me fish! All I wanted was seaweed! Uh, my priorities, everyone. Well, at least it's giving me starfish, so I can sell it. But still, all I came here for was from sea for some seaweed, and I can't even get that. Oh, I forgot to go get seeds. Ah, it's gonna be closed by the time I get there. It's gonna be closed. Maybe not. Cause Pierce closes at four. And I forgot my two seeds. Maybe I should get the backpack while I'm here. I mean, I have enough money. You know what, yeah. Two, two, two. Um, I think it was worth it, maybe, hopefully. Okay, let's go back and try to get more seaweed. Cause all I need, I need seaweed for, who asked for seaweed? Gus. And I was like, oh, that's easy, I could do that. No, apparently not. Mm -hmm. 
I lie to myself. Yes, because I've always wanted trash. I just, I just love that I'm angry over fish. Oh, is everybody excited for the weekend? I kind of am. Because... I don't know, I just kind of am. Oh my god, another flounder! I wish you could turn the ocean sounds down because it's so loud. And I feel like I can't even hear myself think. Oh my god, I'm never gonna get any seaweed. Oh shit! An iridium herring. Oh my god. I'm never gonna see seaweed. I'll never see seaweed. All I wanted was some seaweed. Apparently that was too much to ask for. Oh my god! That's two iridiums, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm never gonna get seaweed. Just a bunch of fish. I think I'm gonna go for maybe two more fish and then go home because my energy's getting low already.
Oh, another Georgia Cola. I lied, I'm gonna keep going, because it didn't take up as much energy as I thought it would. Tomorrow I get some fish, god damn. I mean seaweed. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be my last one then. <gasps> See? See? That's why I should have stayed. Now I don't gotta come back. Ha ha! Ha ha! I probably have to go tomorrow to give it to Gus because it's gonna close and. Right now. Oh no, it is open. Gus! I have your seaweed! Be my friend. Okay, so that is 60 gold. So we've made up for our cost in parsnips today. And a little, a little over that. Hopefully, selling all these fish will help get back the money for expanding our backpack. Well, especially the iridiums, I hope, at least. That goes over well. I don't have. And I'll keep that on me just in case. In case I see him tomorrow. Yay! Early to bed, early to rise. Ah, oh, level one, level three. I'm almost at level one for some reason. Jesus. Jesus! Ah. Oh, well, we're close. Close but no cigar. Day seven. Oh, the potato. Wormies. Willie. Robin. Oh, it's getting. I was like, we're supposed to be getting a message from the wizard, but I forgot to go into the. I forgot to go into the community center. Actually, no, I can sell those. Actually, no, save that for. I like to keep 10 of everything. I just have the 11 because I know I need to put one in the bundle so now I need four more seats wait can I make a scarecrow oh whoops because I really should
Okay. I'm gonna sell two parsnips. I'm gonna keep one because I know it's Mary Lewis's birthday. Okay. Oh wait, scarecrow. We need wood and fiber and one coal. Okay, we need more wood. This game is so relaxing. It soothes me. Having a bad day? Play Stardew. Having a good day? Play Stardew. Is the world ending? It's okay. Play Stardew. That's genuinely how I feel sometimes. And I know I have enough to make uh, a scarecrow. I was just seeing how much wood I could chop down. Because I know for the bridge down at the beach, you need like 300. I don't think I can get that in one day, but you'll never know unless you try. Right? seeds today. Alright, let's make... Oh, wait, we can make field stacks. And make a scarecrow. Put that in there. Put the sap in there. Kind of want to hold on to those. Put those in there. these up. I'm gonna put my scarecrow down. Okay. And we have, I have to go to Gunther's. I have to give this to Sam and I have a birthday gift for Mary Lewis. Can you just come to my birthday? Is that a birthday gift on my birthday? Uh, yeah. Have you ever had like a birthday party or something and somebody comes and they don't get you anything? Like not even a card? That's happened to me before. And in all honesty, it makes me sad. Like if you can't afford anything, I understand. But I also feel like you didn't think of me on my birthday. Oh my god. No, don't eat it. Give it to Mayor Lewis. <laughs> Jesus. No one ever runs against you for mayor. I'll do it. Making me fix the community center and rats and Lord knows what. See, so yeah, I wish I actually go into the community center this time. Cause I'm pretty sure I didn't look at the note. Oh my god, so many daffodils today. Daffodils. Wee. Oh yeah, I think I am doing a remixed. Bundled. For the community center, because I think 
Uni told me to when I made this character. So we're in for a bumpy ride. Yay! <laughs> I think Haley likes daffodils. You're welcome. Don't be mean about your sister. It's not nice. Da -da 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 -da. Sheep! You got your VR! Holy crap! I'm happy for you. It must be so pretty. Does it have that new that new console smell? <laughs> I thought Evelyn would be in there. I wanted to give her a, a day off deal. I wanted to give her oh no, right there. I wanted to give her a day off deal. There you go, Evelyn. Okie dokie, sheep, but thank you so much for the lurk. Very much appreciated. Sam! Joja Cola! <laughs> Is it? Is it a nice day? I'll be the judge of that. It's really windy where I am today. It's kind of frustrating. Cuz it would be it would be a nice sunny day if it wasn't so windy. You know? I don't think I'm gonna fish because I don't have that much energy and I might just use the rest of that energy on chopping trees So Emily Not yet, I don't even have a barn Yeah, but rabbits in your chicken coop also produce wool I think it's interesting that she doesn't mention that. Ooh. Lost book. I wonder what happens when you find all the lost books. I don't think I have. Spring onions. I wish there were rooted vegetables for every season. Like that. But there's only the spring onions. Which, I mean, it's obvious why they're only in spring. <laughs> but it's still like, I wish there were more things like that. Hi, Abigail. Are you visiting your dad? <gasps> oh, I forgot the cart lady's here today. It's Sunday. I don't really need any of this stuff right now, to be honest. Because I don't even have the community center open. Which, yeah, like you could say I did need some of those things, but when you do a remix community center it's the bundles aren't always the same so it's like I don't want to buy something if I don't need it
Okay. Oh, fudge. I forgot to bring that to the museum. God dang it. Okay, I don't have that in my chest yet. And okay. There we go. Okay, get some of this stuff out of my inventory. I almost saw that, I shouldn't have. Wait. Make some field snacks. Now let's get back to chopping. Chop, chop, chopping. I'm excited for sheep getting his VR. I'm I'm not sure how I would do with VR because of my cerebral palsy. Like I'm afraid that it would make me sick or worse. Cuz I I've heard that VR can be seizure inducing. Not that I have epilepsy, but I'm just afraid that because with cerebral palsy it all it's all with the brain. So I just try to be cautious when it comes to that. Okay, I think that's enough chopping for the night. I guess I know if chopping for the night. Oh, yeah, I can make two more field snacks. Two more field. I just did that on accident. Oh well. Can't go back now. I mean, I could restart the day, but that's kind of silly. Can I put the chest in the chest? No, that's silly too. I'll just put the chest in my house and I'll put all my tools in it. Because that makes sense. Okay. That, that, that. I always keep my hoe on me no matter what. <laughs> that wasn't meant to be a joke, but that was kind of funny. But, um, I just like to get the wormies. You know? I like to get the wormies. Ugh. I was hoping it was raining. Neutral. The wizard! Okay, so I'm probably going to go to the wizard first thing after doing some work on the farm. Because I don't want to forget. You know? I'll probably forget. Like, there's a very high possibility that I'm going to forget. Wait. 
<laughs> so now I have another free space. Oh yeah, meet the wizard. I think I'm gonna do that for now. Oh, I need to go back in and get my axe, because I still wanna chop down some trees. Chop, chop, chop. And then after chopping some trees, we'll go meet the wizard. Hopefully I remember. I just want to see something. I was hoping I would have more than that. I was hoping I was gonna have enough for, um, the bridge, but nope. And I'm not gonna use up these field snacks just yet. Let's just go see the wizard and try to get some of that done. Oh, fudgesicle. Well, I guess I'm going back in my house, getting my pickaxe, and actually eating some of these field snacks. I think the one should be good. Let's just trade out the axe for the pickaxe, because I don't want to be doing too much work. And I don't like clogging up my inventory with my tools. Like, yeah, I probably should because they're useful, but I don't know. I'm stingy. 
Here we go. Ta-da! Oh, hey, look, it's Jazz. Let's see. I love the wizard's theme the most. I don't know why. Ooh, that noise scared me. To Junimo. What I mean to skip that, I'm sorry. And there he goes. Off like the speed of sound. I think it's weird that he like teleports there, but then takes his time to walk back in. Like. I must, yeah, I was gonna say that must smell awful. Oh, jeez. Is that 30 energy, like, permanent? Oh, wicked, we're gonna trip balls. We're tripping out. Ta-da! Okay. So I like to check this because, like I said, I don't know. Okay, I didn't do. 
I didn't do remix. I thought I did, but I didn't. So, that's good because now I know exactly what I need. So we're gonna go back up to the farm. We're gonna grab some... Hi. <gasps> Hi, BB! Hello, I'm sorry I didn't immediately hop in. I am responding to Bastard's very lengthy and lovely message. Yeah, I haven't had the time to read it yet. Um, I don't blame you. Honestly, I was reading it going, I feel like I've had this conversation with uh, Al before. Oh, is it a bad conversation? No, it's just a conversation. Okay, you know how sometimes I get overwhelmed or angry and... You have to step in and be like, okay, here's what's actually going on. Calm down. Oh, yeah, like, like I, kind of like I did earlier today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's one of those, essentially. All right. Just turning off the trillium. All right. Everyone is pinging me, and it's, it's driving me crazy. I oh, God, yeah. So much has gone on today. Alexa, turn out the light. Just, just. So much, and yeah. like, I'm not even, I'm not upset at anyone, I'm just overwhelmed. Yeah, I get that. But yeah, I haven't read it yet. I started reading it, and then I had to go to, to, to get food, and then started streaming, so I couldn't, I didn't have time to, you know. It's okay. It's okay. Take your time. We love you. Uh, I appreciate that you're reading it, even though... Uh, technically, it's, um, I want to say it doesn't involve you, but kind of you're part of my friend group now, so it does. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure everybody's okay. Yeah. It, it's just, okay, so here's, here's what's going on. Yeah. Anyways, we're not going to talk about it because I don't want to subtweet either Bastard or Mangy. Um, because I love them, and they deserve adoration and affection, not, um, well, I don't know how to explain this. I hate being the kind of person who takes things publicly instead of just talking to somebody directly. Yeah, true. So, I'm just not going to talk about it. Um... How's work been going? And then... <laughs> it's... I had a Karen today! Oh! Best part, her name was actually Karen. Wicked! <laughs> I mean, I came in to work today thinking, okay, I'm gonna work until 11, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be great, we're gonna be good! Yeah. I'm scheduled until 5. What? Take a look at my scheduling, and I'm scheduled until 10 tomorrow. What? What? <laughs> what? So, I... I was like, okay, maybe I miscommunicated with my boss. Fuck it. Okay, great, I have to... Oh, shit, the podcast. And just, like, immediately my day was downhill. <laughs> and then I find out that, no, my boss just fucking misscheduled me. Like, oh my god. And I'm dealing with people yelling at me at work, and it's just like, oh my god, just everybody chill out. Oh, I Not did do the remix. Sorry, baby. It's okay. But just like, everybody at work is so high energy, and I'm just like, look, I'm already having an anxiety attack. Y'all need to calm down. <laughs> you I'm need sorry. to quit it. Five dollars off your bill ain't that big of a deal. Like, I'm sorry. Take the three dollars I can give you. Honestly, yeah. When was that? When did you lose money? It's five dollars. Okay, we, we 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 raised our prices. It's five dollars. Five. You're already paying two hundred and thirty-six. Why do you care? It's always the people who are paying for TV, and I'm like, if you can't afford it, don't buy it. 
get streaming services. They're cheaper. And they don't tend to change their prices as much. Yeah. Wow, soccer. Uh, I'm gonna be a little quiet here because I'm still responding. No, no, it's fine. Take your time. A green bean. I'll take the quest, but I don't think I'll have it in time. Sebastian. <laughs> Gonna go print this artifact to the museum. Wait a minute. I got it. Oh wait, not you two. She might be in there. Oh, but that's this must be the easy bundles. Because we don't need to do quality crops, yay. Well the brewers bundle has to be difficult because that's quite a bit. Well, I'm doing, um, the Remixed Community Center, and there are different levels of the Remixed Community Center, and, um, I think I got, like, one of the easier ones. But one of the Community Center, like, bundles is the Brewer Bundle, which I need to make pretty much every type of alcohol they only need like four but mead wine juice pale ale or green tea Ooh. yeah kind of difficult okay this might be like an adhd thing yes but do you ever have some times where just like a certain sound is just driving you up the fucking wall yes you want to know which one that is for me right now? Yes. It's the letter S. Oh. Which is in everything! Yeah. God, I hate that. <laughs> like, I can't even deal with it in my head because I just said motionless and white and I'm just like, ooh! Yeah. Makes your brain feel weird. It's like nails on a chalkboard. Yeah. Like in your skull. They have new merch out. Oh wait, did Leah go in our house? Oh, I think she might have. Or, or did I catch her on her way? 
to the saloon. I forget which direction she was going. Oh dear. Yeah, no, I was catching her on her way home. Vegetable medley. A cutscene. Games been doing that. Varmints, not rodents, varmints. I always feel bad for Linus. He's one of my favorites. Gus is a sweetheart, though. And actually, zucchini fritters sound amazing. I would love some right now.
I just, I was struggling with that for a second. I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it or not. I was gonna cut more trees, but uh, I kind of don't feel like it, to be honest. Not too bad on money. Wish it was better, but not too bad. And again, it's sunny. We're never gonna get another rainy day ever, I swear. Neutral. Oh, that's a weird thing to realize. What? Lilith and I are talking about motions of light, and she just mentioned that um, Eternal Yours used to be her favorite, and she's now. Uh, she finds she likes the new song even better than that. And I was like, I think my favorite song is probably, um, Another Life. I was thinking of the name for a minute. And then I realized why. What do you mean? Another Life makes me think of Leon. <gasps> it's perfect for his relationship with Matteo and Bonnie. Well, that's just perfect for him in general. Exactly. And that's why it's my favorite song, is it perfectly encapsulates who he is. Like, it was written for completely different reasons, but like... Oh yeah, no, totally. But it fits him so well. It really does. Oh yeah, do you want to hear something funny? So... You guys don't know this, but I went to the pet store today, and I was looking at the cats, and they had a kitty there uh, named Calvin, which Calvin's one of our friends, so I thought that was ironic, and I wanted to look up more about him, so I went to, like, the shelter's website, because he was at a PetSmart, and PetSmart usually does adoptions through other shelters, so I went on the shelter's website, and going on the shelter's website, babe, they were, they put a cat, it was a girl, up for adoption, with the name Leona, and I was like, so close, yeah, so close, it's like, Jesus, I've been getting called Lydia a lot lately, and I'm like, not even close, but like, I'll take it, yeah, it's she is the quintessential gob bitch, <laughs> It's a nice name, too. Also, I'm sorry if I'm quiet from time to time, guys. I'm just... I'm reading something on Discord, and... It's a lot. It's, yeah, it's a lot. I'm trying to catch up on what's been going on. So, I've just been reading through everything. I mean, I would join the podcast if it was at a different time. Like, I feel like you guys start your- start the podcast when I'm ending my stream. Um, part of the reason we did that was actually so that people could join. Um, I think in your case, it, it would be a little bit more difficult. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, uh, that's what I was saying. I would join if I had the time. Basically, the reason why we picked every other Saturday at that specific time frame was because nobody else was already streaming or had plans. It was basically the easiest time frame for everyone. I would just, you say, you know, I wouldn't stream. I would just stream the podcast. Because friendship. Well, that's <laughs> literally why that that is the way it is this is basically like a okay every other saturday one of us streams the pod the pod and then it doesn't cut into anyone else's time because it's like an old edition i stream every saturday anyway just a little bit before then and then either raid the person who's doing the podcast or transfer over to the art chat and post the podcast 
Yeah, no, I'm just saying, I wouldn't even game. I would just be doing the podcast. Because you friendship. I mean, I would do that. But to okay. me, to me, like, that's the podcast. Well, yeah, exactly. Like I'm saying, I wouldn't be, like, preoccupied with, like, Stardew or Minecraft or anything. I would just chill. I, uh, yeah. The only thing I typically do during the podcast that isn't specifically just paying attention to the podcast is reading my chat if I'm hosting or writing to you. And honestly, the last one would be cut out if you, if you were part of the Cozy Crew. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, I want you to join, honestly. I know, I do too. I mean, wait, you said that Saturday's off? Oh, fuck. I don't know if that it's would work. It's Saturday's after you would get home from Odin's training. Oh, yeah. You know what? Yeah, the, the stream day I is might, I might. Eastern Standard, or I think I think we were talking about maybe pushing it to 9, but yeah, it's, it's like 8 Eastern. I mean, I couldn't do it tomorrow because I already have something planned, lined up, well, yeah. but... You know, I'll talk to I'll talk to Manji about this. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll wait a bit to mention it to Manji. Um, but yeah, I, I think I could, you know, figure something out. Okay. Well, when things uh, calm down a bit, I'm yeah. going. Actually, hang on. Okay. Hang on. I'm gonna add that to mine. Nobody realizes, but when people say "hang on." I usually grab, like, the nearest item and I just hold on to it really tightly. But yeah, like, I could talk... Yeah, here's a question. Would you ever host it? Would I ever host it? Yeah. Like, would you be comfortable streaming that late, or would you just like to be a part of the Cozy Crew and not... Um... I'd have to think about it. I think I could host it. But like I said, I have to think about it. Okay. Well, to be fair, the way the host schedule currently works is, um... So, Finn starts, then me, then Iron and Jelly, then Bolt, then you would have to think, I'm sorry, baby, but you would have to get tacked on at the end there. Um, and, I don't mind. <laughs> and so basically, it, it's like every other Saturday. So I think you would stream like what, maybe four times a year? I'm not doing the math on that. Sorry. That would take me too damn long. Yeah. How long do you guys usually have the podcast for? Um, we don't have a set time frame, but I think usually at least two hours. Um, I think that if it were a case of it went too late for you, we would just need to add that into the rules of, okay, Al is here from this time period, and then after on, if we continue, he will not be able to be with us. Because I know that you have, like, a, a curfew kind of thing. Well, I have a sleep schedule. I would like to sleep! <laughs> uh huh, says, says the man who's supposed to be going to sleep at 10 and is texting me at 2 when I get home. Well, sometimes I don't feel good. Don't call me out like that. I'm calling you out, Mr. Has been up until 11 most nights recently. Well, it's like when I don't feel good, so then I talk to you because I don't feel good. Aww. I'm so glad it's mutual. Not as in, like, I'm glad I feel the same way. I'm glad you feel that way, because I do. What, that when you that when you don't feel good? When you don't feel good and you, you just want to talk to me? So basically, I've always seen it as whenever I'm upset, you're my first go-to, and I've always felt really bad about that, so... Knowing that it's mutual makes me pretty relieved. But, yeah, but that's what a, that's what a relationship is. I mean, but I was like that before the 
relationship. That's why we had that. That's that's why I'm saying. <laughs> that's why I'm saying. That's what a relationship is because you don't put labels on it. But we were pretty much in a relationship. Yeah, we've been. We've. Which technically means anytime we've ever dated someone else, it was cheating. <laughs> I mean, emotionally. Mm -hmm. Well, here's the thing: Have you ever been emotionally invested in any of your other partners? Like seriously? Um. Do you want the honest answer? Yes. No. Same. <laughs> I've never dated a single person besides you that I actually was like, oh my gosh, I would die if he didn't text me. Like, there's only ever been one other person I've loved half as much as I love you. And he's dead now, so... That's depressing. Yeah. I apologize for that. Don't... Okay, here's the thing about him, and I'm not going to say his name or give too much um, information about him because, uh, honestly, if the family and friends of his found out that I felt this way about him or that I was speaking publicly about him, especially if I used his name, they would be very pissed off because he and I were not friends at the end there. We were friends for about a month, and during that month, I fell absolutely in love with him. Was that a smart decision? Fuck no. But it's like I decided that. Yeah, like, um, yeah. And basically what happened was he and I would, like, talk every day. And, like, as far as I was concerned, he was, like, one of my best friends aside from you. And you and I were actually still kind of feeling each other out at this point. Like, we yeah. hadn't gotten to, the, to being friends, like, best friends yet. We were kind of just acquaintances at this point. Mm -hmm. So, technically, he's my first love. Anyway, um, so he was, like, kind of cute, and he was really into the occult, and, like, he's the reason I know what Harley Quinn is. Oh. And, because I didn't know who she was. I didn't even know the Joker had a girlfriend. Keep in mind, this is eighth grade. This is a very long fucking time ago. Yeah. Anyway, he was so interesting. Like, even today, I've met very few people who are as complicated as he was in eighth grade. I mean, he was a freshman, but still. And I kind of fell in love with that. And then I found out just how fucking batshit this boy was. Because he vanished. Like, completely off the face of the earth. Stopped responding to text messages, didn't answer calls. I freaked out. Hey, I had a friend I like that. Person, and if I talk to someone every day and suddenly they just disappear, I, you know, I panic. Yeah. Turns out he was dealing with his parole officer and didn't appreciate that I had tried calling him every single day wondering where the hell he was. And he had this, like, really really horrible girlfriend at the time she cheated on him later and then was kind of abusive um and she convinced him that i was clingy and i was like okay well i'll just delete his number and we'll talk for a while and then he blocked me on facebook i was like okay there's that friendship done all of this happened in like a month wow that is that is how tumultuous this was and also, he was like every hot emo boy ever, all in one. And he was until the day he died. Like, he was what other guys in the school aspired to be. So, I was basically crushing on the popular dude. Oh. <laughs> Just emo style. <laughs> and, um, like, every, there were a couple girls who, was like, who were like, he's scary. I'm like, first of all, he's a brony. Second of all, he has rainbow shoelaces. Yes. And this was back when bronies were not, like, creepy sexual things, yeah. by the way. This was just somebody who liked watching My Little Pony, which, same. Um, anyway, so he didn't speak to me after that. But I never really got over him because, you know, first, fall in love with. You don't really do that. Yeah. And, um... So I just kind of like, I didn't 
talk to him ever again, and I certainly didn't stalk him, although this next week is going to sound like I did, but I kind of kept an eye on him as far as, like, what was going on in his life. I had some friends who were friends of his, and I just would occasionally be like, okay, how is... And they'd be like, oh yeah, he, he overdosed on LSD the other day. Oh, oh yeah, he went kind of psycho, and now he is back in jail. Oh yeah, um, his girlfriend was cheating on him and he just found out and he had a breakdown. Oh yeah, um, so she went to an institution and blah, 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 And he was just like a soap opera. Yeah. And I just felt so bad. And it, honestly, it always felt like her fault. Like she destroyed who he was. And then yeah. a couple of years passed. After I got out of high school, I kind of lost track of him. You know, I'm not a soccer. And then eventually I found like his profile on Instagram and I was like well maybe maybe things have changed so I, I tried friending him got no response I was like okay well he didn't block me but he also didn't respond so I don't know yeah and then I take a look and his fiance the same bitch who in my opinion destroyed him um had pictures of her with a new guy and I was like Oh, I see how that ended. And I actually said something snide to one of my best friends, and she was like, dude, he's dead. And I was like, what? Oh my that god. That was how I found out. I said something insensitive, and my best friend oh, had fuck. to go like, um, no, actually, take a step back, humble yourself. Uh, <laughs> and it actually sent me down a little bit of a spiral because I I kind of had always expected him to be there like yeah. a constant in my life and then he was just one day gone and the thing was he'd been gone he'd been dead for a year at that point and I didn't know I don't know how he died I don't know anything about it I just know he's gone <laughs> so there's the story of my first love <laughs> I'm sorry, BB, that's dramatic. <laughs> yeah, I lucked out in getting you because there is absolutely zero drama. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I swear I'm never gonna have a rainy day ever again. But yeah, that's that sucks. I have a, I had a friend like that. He's still alive though. Our birthdays are like two days apart. <laughs> oh my god, our daughter has never heard another life. Blasphemy. Agreed. This dog's name is not gonna be Yogi, it's gonna be Odin. <laughs> just just every time now, it's just Odin. Sheep, she, no, it's fine. Sheep got his VR today, and he's he's been setting it up. Oh, why do you feel sick now? Also, your chat on your. Yeah, I know. I'm struggling with it. I'll fix it when I'm not angry at it. I mean, you could also just as soon have me walk you through it. Later? Yeah. Tomorrow? Cause don't you work tonight? Yeah. For a I really long say. fucking time? Yeah. Which I mean boo, but also money. <laughs> yeah, I work until like two hours after your stream. Yeah. Um I feel Alexa, that. Stop. Alexa, shut the fuck up. 
<laughs> and sorry, I'm still reading what's going on with the podcast and everything. Not that I'm a part of it, I'm just reading because I want to understand what's going on. I mean, I, think, I don't think you need to be a part of the podcast for this. I think, I mean, if I remember correctly, it was stated even if you're not a part of the podcast to everyone here. I'm sick because I just played a really energy heavy game after eating a lot. Oh, poor sheep. I'm sorry. That does suck, though. I feel that. Regaling to Lilith the fact that eternally yours was Chris's uh, love song to Gaia Patra, and then like two years later they broke up. <laughs> I know, and, it's so sad. And then he went to write another one. Here's the thing I'm not entirely sure they were compatible. They were hot together, though. They were hot together, yeah. Hi, Pixel! Pixel! Hi, Pixel. Now I just want to lay down and drink water. I mean, yeah. That would probably be helpful. I don't actually recommend that. I recommend, like, propping yourself up a bit. Because if you do it, if you lay down and drink water, you will get nauseous. Yeah. This is speaking from personal experience. I mean, obviously, I can't guarantee that because I don't know your body, but at least in my experience, eating or drinking and then laying and then immediately laying down or doing so while laying down, I just get so sick. <clears throat> like, propped up just a little bit. Still reading? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm way far back. Like, I'm reading from the very beginning. So I'm. Maybe, if... maybe you wait to do so after stream and let me comment that you need to wait until after stream. Uh, okay. True, 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 true. I'm just curious. I'm, I'm an inquiring mind. Yes, but you're live. It can wait. True. What do I need for fish? I need some goldfish. And not like goldfish like the pet. I need like gold starred fish. Which ones are those that I need? Wrong one. Fish tank. So I can get the largemouth baths the large over the the largemouth bass and the shad I could probably get this season. So I could go try that. Also, I just wish that, um... Lilith enjoys the song, so I think I might have converted her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, what was I saying? Oh. I'm sick of, like, the news being on my street. I wish they would just leave me alone. The news? Yeah. News reporters. Oh, on your street. Yeah. You said on your stream, and I was like, what? Street. They keep coming to my house, and it's annoying. And now I have another life stuck in my head. God damn it, Gouda. I like both of them. Actually, it's gonna sound really controversial, but I hated Eternally Yours. See, I was the other way around for a long time. 
Well, I, you were the other way around because you didn't like that they'd broken up. No. Like, I don't, I don't like, um, I don't like the motion picture, oh. like, versions. Those I really don't like. I don't know. I think it's because they're too soft and I'm not used to it. Yeah. You know, it's not. I them because they held the same amount of emotion, but when my brain was doing it, I could still listen to it. <laughs> I don't know if the mic picked up the noise. Yeah, I heard the noise. I don't know if anybody else did, but I sure as heck heard it. <laughs> I've never made a better noise to explain what it feels like in that moment. Uh -huh. Large mouth bass. <laughs> I just gotta chill. Ouch. I mean, I appreciate the honesty. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yo. Later, she says. Yeah, I just realized I probably should have gotten food while I mean, yeah. At ten o'clock at night. That's not the gold starfish that I needed. Oh, have you gotten to watch Masterpiece yet? The fuck are you talking about? Watch it with some lights. No. And your song's called Masterpiece. No. I love how I love how I told you when it was coming out, and I haven't seen it. I want their new merch. Me too, but honestly, I don't think it's a good idea to get it. The last time I got any merch from them at all, I got a pair of leggings, and they were so god awful. What do you mean? So, I got these leggings, and they were like gym short material. Ooh. And the um the actual design wasn't woven into the fabric. It was printed on Oh. And I was like, I I'm never buying from these guys again. Yeah. That's And it doesn't look like they've changed with the light. That's the sloppy in my opinion. <laughs> oh yeah. I can speak for the uh, veracity of the rest of their uh, merchandise. Um, but at least since they started their own, like, merchandising company, or like, whatever, it just feels so poorly made and cheap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not how you go about with business. Yeah. Releasing a cassette tape of the fucking shit! Oh my god! I love it when you get so excited like that. It's adorable. It's like fifteen dollars. I might buy it. Oh my god! But I'm definitely never buying the leggings. The leggings again. Fuck that noise. You know what kills me though? With the new designs, guess who's my favorite? 
Ooh. Ricky's. Really? I hate that fucking spiral thing that Chris is obsessed with. I'm just like. Oh, yeah, it drives my brain nuts. It drives my brain bonkers. Yeah, to me, it looks like he's just like. I want to say it's a whirly ball, but I know it's not. Oh, yeah, like the Pokemon. Yeah! Makes him look like a fucking Pokemon. Yeah, and like, it also is kind of a simplistic design, so to me it's kind of meh. Cheating. Yeah. Yeah, it honestly it feels like Ricky's has the most thought behind it, which I think is the reason I like it. I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow. Well, let me let me rephrase that. I'm getting my hair trimmed tomorrow. Because it just looks so crazy right now. It needs some help. It needs some milk. I think the only thing I really want from that is the um the cassette tapes. Because I'm the freak that keeps cassette tapes around. I mean, why not? Uh, I also, here's the thing that's killing me. So far, there isn't a vinyl. <gasps> yes. And that pisses me off. You want to know why? Because vinyls are amazing. I collect every single one of the motionless and white vinyls, and I have them all. Oh, lucky ducky. So, so now, of course, they release a new album, and there's no vinyl. Where's the vinyl? <laughs> so mad. It's like there's two bands that I want all the vinyls for, and Motionless and White has released few enough that I actually managed to succeed with theirs. I'm working on Birthday Massacre, but I don't think I'll get it. Um, but with like Motionless and White, the only ones I don't have on vinyl are the ones before Creatures, like the ones from uh, before they yeah. were signed. Yeah. <clears throat> Do they even make one? Not vinyls, they did make CDs. Um, and honestly, those albums, like even Chris has said, yeah, those albums were shit. <laughs> no, I like those. Good. They weren't they the best, but I did enjoy them. They sound like a lot of noise to me. I'm not fond of creatures. Like, I didn't really start liking the music until Reincarnate. Divorce. I mean, like, Infamous <laughs> was good. Infamous was stunning. So I think, wait, Infamous came before Reincarnate? I'm so I guess I started liking sure. the music at, at Infamous. But I do have the Creatures album in purple because I'm not a fucking plebeian. And I have two versions of Reincarnate. Not by choice, I might have. Why? I think I have two versions of Reincarnate, and I think I might have two versions of Infamous. But not by choice, it's a case of, like, accidental not planning. Um, with the reincarnate vinyls, um, I got one, and it was covered in this mysterious white powder and, like, art. Oh, yeah, you and told so me. I called them, yeah, I called them, and I was like, hey, what the fuck? And they were like, we'll send you a replacement for free. And then I got the replacement, and the same fucking thing was wrong. And I, f I realized that in shipping, the goddamn vinyl was rubbing against its packaging. Oh. Unfortunately, the second one was in better condition. So, like, yeah, like, are they playable? Or do they skip? Oh, yeah. No, they're playable. Huh. The only vinyl I have that skips is actually one from my friend's band, Smalltalk. Um, and it skips because my cat decided to bang into my record player while I was listening to it. Uh, and the needle scratched the Yeah. Button. And I'm still so mad about that. The next time I hang out with Taylor, I'm gonna be like, hey, is there a way I can get another vinyl of this? Like, I'll pay you hand over fist if I got it. My cat's destroyed the last one. But I don't think I'm going to, because if I remember correctly, it was a limited release, because at the time, she wasn't big, and now she's fucking huge, and I'm just like, what? The girl, she, she's got a blue check mark on, on Twitter and everything. She's fearful. Like, Girl! What the fuck? <laughs> I will say, 
I don't really consider her my friend anymore. Not because she did anything wrong, but just because we don't talk. Yeah. But, like, at the time, we were tight. I, I, I don't know if she would agree. And to be completely honest, I don't really mind or care. Um... <laughs> it was a it was just a case of like I had fun hanging out with her at Warped Tour type deal. I bought her food. I bought her whole band food because I could afford to do so and um at the time like they were not doing great. Not as in like they were doing badly, but as in like they were very so much, you know, boring band. And now they're now she's huge <laughs> and the worst part is if anyone figures out who she is and asks her about any of this she might accidentally dox me so let's not oh yeah true she does remember who I am I remember once because I texted her and be like hey you remember me and she was like yeah Recycling machine. Oh, that flower is really pretty. That flower looks like the the pouring years of who. Remember that? Mm -hmm. The the flower that Uni posted. It yes, looks. It was it looks like the like the horn. Here's a who flower. You know the little puffalo thing that the speck was on. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, that hurt. Never gonna rain ever again. No, wait, where's my watering can? Very happy today. I'm gonna get my geodes cracked. Cookies, yay. Robin's axe. Just like it. It's just a fucking Dr. Seuss. Oh shit, I gotta go back to work. Aww. <laughs> Angie. I'm gonna miss you. I miss you too. <laughs> <laughs> We're the world's most dramatic couple, I swear. No, I would do that with anybody. <laughs> You're not that <laughs> special. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, babe. I love you too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, you wanna you wanna join? Hi, Pixel. Hello. What's up? 
Uh, playing some Dark Souls, just grinding off stream. My God, that game looks horrifying. It's it's not hard. It's just annoying. I mean, that would be enough to to make me dip. I mean, the problem with this game is everyone tries to play like a D and D game, or they try to play it like every other type of adventure game where it's like oh you need to get the best item and then that way you can be super strong that's not how it works that's not how any of this works you know it's like with D, you gotta kind of like use stats to kind of help boost other stats and then with like most adventure games it's like i got insert weapon here that'll help me defeat everything now for, for this game it's like you gotta focus on one type of like strength and then one type of weapon. Oh. I mean, we all know what I'm good at in games. Stealth. Hmm? Okay. The nieces are downstairs. <sighs> yeah. Why are children so cute? No, they, make me sick. they make me happy inside. I wouldn't have one, but they're fun to to be around for a while. It's like keeping a pet. <laughs> I don't think I could physically handle a child. I mean, it depends on the child. I mean, yeah, true. I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, as I was saying, we all know what I'm good at when it comes to games. Stealth! I mean, you can do stealth in this game. I'm so good at it! I went the wrong way. <sighs> so how's your day, Pixel? It's been alright, I guess. You yeah, haven't had to do any more shoveling. Well, no, I just definitely have to go back because it snowed again. Oh, Jesus. Mm hmm. Also, I found out that I don't have to actually spend, like, X amount of money on uh, like the, the uh, blue team. Oh, well that's good. Yeah. So if I get a Ryzen 7 5800X, it'll be good enough. And, uh... And I'll just need the board for that. And 236... Um... RAM sticks, making it 60... What was I getting? 34, so that'll make it 68. 68 gigs of RAM. And then, um... I'll just save up for, uh, 3090. Wow! Yeah. Oh my god, that art you showed me earlier is so freaking adorable. Yeah, the rigging is going on now. You little, little Mario-esque pixel. Well, Wario-esque. It's Wapixel. It, yeah. <laughs> it's Wapixel. It's Wapixix. Oh my god. I like using these glasses better with my headphones because they don't fall off. I like the ones that fall off. Why? <laughs> Why? Why do you tease me? What is wrong with you? A lot of things. I mean, I bet. <laughs> I'd have to sit down with Dr. Fuzz and Dr. Seuss for like days, huh? I wouldn't say days. They, they would probably just give you a list of my prescriptions and it might take an hour. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez.
just trying to buy things now so that way when I do become um, when I get into New Game Plus I won't have to like deal with it so much. True. I'd kindle any further. I'd kindle anyway. What am I gonna have for a schmack later? Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I don't like jelly. Peanut butter and banana sandwich. Peanut butter and fluff sandwich. There you go. Uh, no. I'm not in a peanut butter mood tonight. Chocolate sandwich. As I eat peanut butter ice cream later. Uh, no. I don't, I don't know what I want. A bread sandwich. Which, oh, bread sandwiches are my favorite. <laughs> You, you can tell he's from New York. <laughs> oh my god. You, you can tell from the accent there is either from New York or he's from Brooklyn. I mean, it's better than the accent I was thinking of. Jambi! PB and banana's the best. I mean, I agree. Have you ever had honey? Yes. Peanut butter and honey on a sandwich? That's I good have. too. Really sticky though, you might choke. That's what he said. I wasn't thinking. I just said Neither it. Neither was she. That's a good sandwich, though. It is. Sandwiches are just good. You know what's really good? Um, what do you call that? So you put uh, honey in a pot and just kind of let it caramelize, right? Yeah. And then you make oatmeal, right? And then you just kind of like... Wait, you fry up some peaches first, caramelize some honey, then make some oatmeal, mix them together. That sounds delicious. It is. I'm gonna have to write all this stuff down. I'll send you the recipe. And Jumbo said, yes, must toast the bread, a bit of honey on the hot bread first, and then the rest. Oh my god, that sounds delicious. Living in my house is weird because I'm always afraid I'm having a stroke because my dad makes toast at such weird hours of the night. And I'm like, why do I smell toast? And it's like, oh, my dad's just making toast at like 10 o'clock at night. It's fine. I mean, that's how I am. I think that's how all dads are. Yeah, but you're not a dad. Um, yeah, that's right. You stole them away from me. Yeah. I am not a dad. I am barely a dad. Oh, I have to tell Obey that. No, I think Obey would agree with me. No, he'd be mad. I'm hungry. Same here. I want some Ritz crackers. That's my comfort food. Ritz crackers. It's one of them. Is that why you said you think I would taste like a Ritz cracker? <laughs> Cause I'm just comfort. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, that's kind of cute, though. Hello, Scarlet. I mean, just looking at people, you can just like, like you can just tell how they eat. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> Cause like, there's some people that just look like Big Macs, you know. Like yes. Reese is all fun. And then there are some people that just like they're like so dry, and like they, they wrinkle fast, and they kind of look like they they're like salty ass bitches. <laughs> oh my fucking they god! They literally taste like salt. Well, at least you chose a Ritz cracker, not a saltine, because then I would have been upset, because those are dry as fuck. No, no, I said Ritz because it's like. What you remind me of? What, Jambi? What's my comfort snack? What do I think? Oh, you would taste like. 
Me? Yeah. I'd probably taste like... That's a good question. I'm gonna have to think about it. I'd probably taste like a mocha latte. No. They look like a Big Mac. Well, I mean, he's not wrong. Like, you know the expression, you are what you eat? It's very it's true. Like, it's it's very, yeah, it's very true. It's like, they're just... There's some people that are just fat and greasy, you know? Yeah. Like, you could literally tell that's all they eat, and that's like... The fucking sweat coming off of them probably tastes like fucking Big Mac juice. That made me feel sick. Yep. On, on the topic of fat people, I got myself a weighted hula hoop, so now I'm gonna dance around my house and try to lose weight. And I literally mean dance, because why not? Except I'm gonna hide in the basement so no one can see me. Don't do the safety dance, it's not very safe. <laughs> Everybody look at your hands. Doesn't sound very safe to me. No. <laughs> oh, I had an idea of what you would taste like, but it should really be the other way around. What's that? I was gonna say a chocolate covered pretzel. But it should be I don't really eat salt, though. It should, well, it should, well, not, like, in that sense. I mean, like, and in the way of it should be the other way around, is like, you're kind of a dick. <laughs> so I feel like that's where the salt comes in, but then you're just so sweet. You're a Sour Patch Kid. That's what you are. Okay, there you go. I do eat a lot of gummies, I'll be honest. Gummies are my favorite. Honestly, Haywire probably tastes like a nuclear fucking waste dump. <laughs> My fucking god. And by that I mean he's either one of those like super sour balls or he's like just literally just liquid monster. Oh my fucking god. He's like all the monsters mixed into one cup. Blah. Yeah, that's that's Haywire. Oh my god. Why do you do this to me? I mean, he does have that, like, liquid hate taste to him. I feel like he's, he's, he's not salty. He, he would be, like, a super sour ball or some shit. Yeah. If he was a food, he's a super sour ball. If he was a drink, he's all the monsters mixed in the world. I love how I messaged my friend about the fact she's cutting my hair tomorrow and she hasn't answered me. It's great. I'll cut your hair. Okay. <laughs> my mom usually cuts my hair, but she refused to. So now I have to go spend money. 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 Hula hooping sounds fun? It does, that's why I bought one. But like I said, it's weighted. So it's like, got some, some gib to it. Honestly, the number one exercise you could do to really, really get into shape without exerting or even pushing yourself too hard, is just walk. Literally. Literally, just walk. Like, just, just walk like a block. And then the next step, you just go like a block and a quarter, then a block and a half. And then you just keep doing that until you're like, walk so far that you're like, huh, you can just walk around anywhere. Sorry, I'm dancing to the music. I always dance to the music in this game for some reason. I feel like I was doing something and I can't remember what. We're talking That's... about how people look like food. I'm trying to think, what would my dad be? 
in that sense. Your dad would probably be beef jerky. <gasps> Just straight up protein. He would love he, that, by the way. If he, was, if he was a drink, he'd be protein butter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell him that if he's not watching. Go for it. Your dad looks like Sergeant Slaughter so bad. He's so <laughs> oh, shit. I look more like my mom, thank God. Wouldn't want to be a big beefy boy? Uh, no, not really. I feel like I got, like, the most proportionate features I could ever get. Because if I had his nose, oh my god. I'd chop that thing off. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I got his nice blue eyes. The only thing I got from my dad is my hair type, my eyes, and my ass. Everything else I got from my mom. My ass. I my ass. I never fall down. I just bounce back up. <laughs> now I say. Now I say. Now I, I say. I say. I, I say. I, I never fall down. I just bounce right back up. You hear? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> you remind me of my fucking... What do you call that sound alert? Shut up. Shut up. Oh yeah, I'll shut up, alright? Yeah, I'll shut up real good. You know, back when in my day, when my dad told me to shut up, I shut up. One time I damn near starved to death because I wouldn't tell him I was hungry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> damn near starved to death. <laughs> Tell him I was hungry. <laughs> oh my god, kills me every time. Oh. Oh my god. What was I doing? I don't remember. I hate when that happens. I had like an agenda of what to do and I completely lost it. It's fine. You know, if Haywire was a legitimate food, he'd be an Ego. Why? Because he looks in shape, but he's really just full of holes. <laughs> oh my god. Look, he's all round, he's all shapeful, he's full of shapes. Yet, when you look at him, he's just full of holes. Oh my god. <laughs> Those aren't abs, it's just his stomach sucking in from eating itself. Oh my god. He's got zero fat because his body ate it. I, I did a pity laugh there because I was like that once. <laughs> Yeah, where your stomach is literally eating you. I used to be really thin. Like, I used to be, like, super thin. And I was, like, you know, I was very feminine looking at one point. And, uh, <coughs> a lot of, like, I had long hair. It was down to my ass. And then, um, a lot of people kept, like, believing that I was a woman as a child. And I was like, okay. So then eventually I just started eating like a fuck ton of protein, like just consistent protein and exercising and then I got it all beefed up and then I was like, why the fuck am I doing this? And then I got into junk food and then I got into powerlifting. <laughs> now I'm just like, beast. That's one heck of a jump. Yep. People don't seem to realize that you can change the way your body looks just by how you eat and how you exercise. Granted, if you have the, uh, what do you call that, the runner's body, you're, you're gonna forever be skinny, but you can bulk up. A 
as for me, I was blessed with, like, not having the reverse button. I was blessed with obesity. <laughs> no. Well, as a kid, I was I was a big kid, and then I lost a lot of weight. Unhealthily. I mean, and then I gained all the weight back. <laughs> I mean, as a kid, you're supposed to have a lot of weight. It's called baby fat. Well, I mean, like... No. Green beans. I like green beans. What's your least favorite vegetable? Mine? Yes. Well, this goes for everybody, but yes, specifically you. Peas. Peas? Yeah, I like peas. I don't really like Brussels sprouts that much. I love Brussels sprouts. I've always hated veggies until, uh, what do you call it, I grew up. And then I was like, oh man, these are actually really good. Especially steamed. Um, yeah. Specifically steamed. I, I prefer the food more than anything. But after a while there, like, the doctors told me that, yeah, no, if you eat too much veggies, you're gonna die. And that is Pixel's origin story. <laughs> So veggies are bad for me. Well, too many. Too too I mean, much it, it, of something can be a bad thing. I mean, even just a little bit is still bad for me, but, you know, a little bit of alcohol doesn't kill anybody. <laughs> but then in my case, too much alcohol is a good thing for me, so... Yeah, Pixel is <laughs> an enigma. Or very broken. <laughs> I will never understand, like, everything to its capacity. And God was like, you know, I'm tired of making the same thing. Let's do, let's do something different. Let's mix it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Make him sturdy as fuck, but, like, immune to all the good foods. <laughs> Too many children is a bad thing. Got that right. Oh, by the way, Femboy, you should have heard what uh, your dad said about you earlier. Oh my god, here we go again. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Good dear. I said that I was a bad father. Mm -hmm. That's all I said. Mm -hmm. And I said that you would agree with me. No, you don't think I'm a bad dad? I do. Something wrong with you that I'm not raising you right if you think I'm a good father. I mean, better you than me. I mean, debatable. I think you'd make a good dad. I mean, I'd abandon my kid the first chance I get. I mean, true, but I mean, like, in reality sense. I think you'd be reality a reality sense. I would raise him Spartan style, <laughs> or her Spartan style. Here's a knife. Go out in the woods. If you don't come back, then you're not my son. Interesting. If you come back with a wolf's pelt, th then the training begins. I love how I'm just annihilating these children in this Easter egg hunt. Go me. <laughs> Specifically how my dad raised me. My dad raised me to take shit from nobody and beat the fuck out of people. Yeah, when I came to my dad, he's like, well, you got two options to become a man. You can either go out there and find yourself a woman, or you can take this knife and come back with moose. Took the knife. I mean... <laughs> hmm. 
Moose are huge. Like eight foot tall, one ton. They're terrifying. <laughs> they are. <laughs> They're like legitimately terrifying. <laughs> Those things can run through snow and water like it was nothing. Like nobody's business. I remember uh, pissing off a moose once and I was on a boat. And then uh, I guess, uh, what do you call that? We were, we were driving away and then it was catching up with us. So I was like, oh, don't worry about it. So I turned up the speed on it and <laughs> keep it up with us. Like if I didn't know better, I would say moose are a mythical creature. Probably. They're probably the best thing you could eat. That makes me hungry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to try moose. Better than burger meat, I'll say that. Is it leaner? Very. Like, my uncle, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, who shares the same name, which I won't say. Mm -hmm. Um, what do you call that? So he was, what, 300 pounds or something like that? Holy. Yeah, he was like a really big guy, but he needed to be that size because he lifted a lot of heavy things. Mm-hmm. Not to mention he was also a firefighter. Oh. Yeah, and, uh, like he did a lot. And he would go hunting and stuff all the time. And, uh, I guess... He developed diabetes, and uh, what do you call it? They said that he needs to lose a lot of weight in order to avoid being on insulin. Unlike in my case, where it's like I just needed to like eat better, drop my sugar, and I could be off of medication. Yeah. So he just lived off of wild meat, so like moose meat, uh, rabbit, deer. Muskrat, etc., etc. You know all those like wild foods. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think he's down to like 210 now. Wow. Yeah. I that's love. All he eats. I love venison. Yeah, but that's legitimately all he eats though. My dad hunts. I hunt with him, but I haven't got anything yet. One of these days. But uh, I love venison. It's my favorite. Like, uh, what do you call that? Without a paddle. My, my... <laughs> Your dad takes us, takes us hunting. So, like, I wake up, mmm, bacon. <laughs> It'll be Alistair. Squirrel. Mmm, squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> my grandmother used to be like, why do you want to go shoot Bambi? I'm like, because he's delicious. <laughs> You know, there's a theory that Gaston killed Bambi, or Bambi. Oh, I know. It's interesting. I love weird shit like that. I want to go to Disneyland. So do I. I've been to World, so I want to go to Land. I want to go to both. Disney so World is so depth. good. I want to go to every variation of Disneyland slash World. Do you know in America? We're the only place that I think it's. Uh, yeah, we're the only country that the Disney workers can only speak English. They, they will reprimand you if you speak another language. That's weird. Yeah, it's so bizarre. <laughs> it's like it doesn't make any sense. It does make sense. Well, no, because you think, like, if a worker can speak another language, that you'd want them to make the guests feel comfortable. Because... <laughs> no. Yeah, exactly. That's America for you. No. That's America in a nutshell. How about we do... No. <laughs> Because technically every Disney film so far out in America was in English. Yeah. So therefore it must, uh, it's like a regional thing. 
You know what I mean? Within each region that those movies came out, would have to speak that specific language it came out in. It's like a business thing. Yeah, but like when you go to like Disney in Japan, like they tell you to speak whatever language you can speak to speak to guests at the park and everything, but in America there's like, nope, just speak English, that's it. That's all you get. You know what makes me weird? What weirds me out about the whole Disney World thing? What? All of them are different races, even like, what was it? Belle is Dutch, isn't she? So wouldn't French. they speak like their own language? Yeah. Yeah, I was actually having a discussion about this with my parents the other day, because one of my favorite characters from Disney is Mulan, and Mulan, Pocahontas, you know, characters like that at Disney World are very, like, rare. They hold certain small events to see them, but they're not, like, a constant character out in the park, and that makes me sad. Like the fuck? What? Because it's racist to wear, uh, native culture stuff. And, um... As for Mulan, do you really want a woman walking around with a sword? I mean, she doesn't have to have it on her. I mean, I'd be disappointed if she didn't. I mean, a little. But, I don't know, I just get sad when, like... Yeah, no, people take that whole, like, native thing seriously. There's a guy named Social Oppose who has, like, the board bonnet thing. Oh, I hate that guy. Yeah, and he uses, like, duck feathers or whatever, and fuck, he's been getting hate for that since, like, day one. Yeah. And other things, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Cultural appropriation. Plus, there's a lot of people on Twitter there that I noticed were being, like, super fucking, like, gatekeepy about that shit, too. It's like, there's this one person there that was like, you shouldn't buy dream weavers or whatever. Dream catchers. Yeah, and then it's like, because it's like a Native American thing, it's like, no, it's not. I mean, yes, Native Americans did, you know, do the work for it, but it's not specifically made or, you know, that X culture. That's, that's a weird thought process, though, because what if, like, a Native American person had that as a business? They, they do have those as businesses here. That's, that's, it's just interesting. The other thing, too, is, like, the people who gatekeep this, they're like, oh, yeah, no, our, like, like, white people never had these before. Like, it, it's specifically a Native American thing. It's like, learn your history. Native Americans used to train with that shit all the time with white people. Yeah. You know? It's like, get off your high horse. Well, for instance, America has a very skewed idea of history. Because for the longest time, I had no idea how much a dick Christopher Columbus was until I reached high school. Like... Yeah. America no, like, just hides a bunch of shit. Here in Canada, like, they've, like, made it a thing where you have to learn both uh, about Métis culture, Native American culture, and, like, the history of, like, colonization. See, that's smart, though. I hate it. Well, I would appreciate it, because, like I said, I didn't know Christopher Columbus was such a bad dude until... I was like a sophomore in high school. It's like I think he was mainly just an idiot. He thought he was in India. Yeah, true. But then he was just an asshole. Mm -hmm. Not I even mean, every, every main person in history is an asshole. If you think about it. Well, I mean, he was a monster though, like cuz even like what's his name? Oh, what the fuck is his name? Abraham Lincoln, right? Yes. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, I love Abraham Lincoln because he abolished slavery. There was a quote there that they found where he wrote it in his like diary or some shit. That if he could have that if he could like save 
like the Constitution or whatever without giving up slavery, or at least most of slavery, then he would have been able to do it that way. He would have done it that way. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> it's like, you're fucking praising a guy for abolishing slavery, but the guy is like, yeah, no, I have no other choice. If I could, I'd keep slavery. Yeah, exactly. That's what a lot of people don't get, like... History what? is very sugar-coated, especially in America. You, you, you should watch uh, America the Motion Picture. I fucking love that. That's how I, ex I assume America to be. That's how I It most likely America is. It most likely we're, is. We're gonna watch that together. We're just That's fucking- we we're just fucking stupid down here. I mean, it's not, like, stupid. It's just, like, it's, it's just fucking funny. We're very ignorant and stupid people down here. And if, if any of you Americans watching don't like that I said that, well, guess what? You're stupid and ignorant. It's ignorance that you don't believe me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <sighs> it's ignorant of you for mentioning it. It's just so. Uh... Well, I mean, it's not just America that's both ignorant and stupid. I believe that all places in the world are ignorant and stupid. Yeah, but I, th I feel like America just shows it more. <laughs> I mean, there are certain places where, like, okay, but just because I know we're in a war, like, you know, but it is a fact that it is illegal to be emo in Russia. Like, what the fuck? Talk the, about ignorant. The, yeah, I was gonna say, the world is a very imperfect place. Not to mention that in some countries women's rights don't, still don't exist, like they can't vote or anything. Yeah, it's insane. And they can't walk around without be, without being escorted by a man. Like the fuck, man. The world is a very scary place in a lot of places. The one thing that I wish would be abolished is uh, the whole, like, marriage thing. Like the uh, arranged marriages. Yes. Because it's like, it's not so much like, oh, I'm not in love with this guy, or it's like, this guy's ugly and I don't want to marry him. It's like, what if you're gay? Yeah. You know? And it's like, you're going to get married to a woman that you're never going to touch? I mean, yeah, like... Like, it's... I want kids. Could you could you please have sex with a slave? So that way, like, we can pretend we have kids? Like, just what the fuck? It's, it's know, just man. ridiculous. Like, arranged marriages, if you are, like, gay, and it's like, yeah, you're gonna get married to this guy? It's a bit better. Yeah. It's not, it's not something I would agree with, but no. again, it's better than being married to a woman you're never gonna bother. <clears throat> there is that I've noticed Americans are dumb, but you mostly know how dumb people are. They're open about it, yeah. Well, it's self-awareness. The the thing I like, I did, I studied a lot of philosophy, me. So, I don't consider myself smart and or educated. Uh, I like to follow the philosophy of the only thing we know is nothing at all, and everything we talk about and or say is just a regurgitation of what somebody else said. Whoa, that's really true. Interesting. Man. Yeah. I love when you and I are here together. We always come up with such interesting topics. Well, I mean, I was still on the topic of, like, people tasting like food, but, you know. <laughs> Thinking back on it now, that that seems kind of a little disturbing. What people tasting like food? Yeah, it's like Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. You know. I told you it's I like, had serial killer vibes today. I mean, it's not that. It's like this person probably tastes like a Big Mac, and it's like, oh, I'm getting hungry. It's like, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're gonna eat this motherfucker. <laughs> Like that's that's a bit concerning. 
Yeah, a little. I am hungry though. Who is your favorite serial killer? And I don't mean favorite, like, they make you happy. Like, I feel like the term favorite always tends to coincide with, like, something you like. No, I mean, like, who's your favorite serial killer in the sense of somebody you are engrossed in researching? Because the human mind does some fucked up shit, and... Thank you. It's okay, take your time, it was kind of a loaded question. Courtney Love? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I wasn't thinking of her, but yeah, I can see it. Especially because I feel like fairly recently stuff came out about Kurt Cobain. About his, like, quote unquote suicide. No. Yeah, that's just. Mind-boggling. I'm heavily, I'm a heavily, I, I enjoy conspiracy theories a lot. Like, my brain's just constantly thinking. I like conspiracy theories so much. I, more along the line, like, the idea of, um, like, like, world theories and events and such and such, right? Yeah. As an example, um, it is a known fact that the uh, person who killed JFK was sitting in one spot, but the bullet came from a different spot. So unless the bullet specifically curved in order to hit the president with, like, kind of like how that one fucking movie went where you just shoot the bullet in one area and just twist your hand and it curves the bullet or some shit like that. Unless he was doing something like that with a rifle, I can't see that happening. Now, granted, it is a conspiracy theory that, oh, he didn't kill him. It's like, you know, but who did kind of a thing. It's like, that's not the part that really intrigues me. The part that intrigues me is, like, how did the bullet curve? And if not, where did the other bullet come from? Yeah. Have you seen, like, the video of his assassination? Uh, sadly, I did. It's heartbreaking. I don't. I don't like watching shit like that. Oh, I know. I, I. I don't remember how I saw it, but it was so fucking sad. Because the other thing too is, I like uh, multi-dimensional theories. Interesting. Yeah, because like you know, the fourth dimension, the fifth dimension, sixth dimension, etc., etc., etc. Stuff like that really, really interests me. And then someone said something once that, like, you know, the reason why, like, people have proof that Bigfoot exists, right? Yeah. But every photo taken of Bigfoot that was, like, a legitimate photo of Bigfoot always turned out blurry. Right? Yeah. What if Bigfoot is a fifth dimensional creature and we just can't perceive him because we're, we live in the third dimension? <gasps> You know, it, it would be a thing. He could be I a fourth-dimensional creature. That's yeah. Because, like, you know, our eyes can only reach up to specific P levels. So, 4K, 8K, our eyes can't perceive the, the full concept of 8 or 4K. Granted, the definition gets a little better for our eyes to, like, understand it. But yeah. if, if we were able to see an actual 4K 
then like there's so much there that you would be all like I've never seen this before yeah you know and then it's like if you look at Bigfoot the way you do in like blurry photos it's like this is a legitimate photo of Bigfoot it, maybe it's just the fact that like since we live in a third dimension and he's a fourth dimensional creature that's why we can't perceive him because our eyes just can't comprehend the uh, amount of like pixels needed or even the way that his body is worn Wicked. to really piece it together you know it's stuff like that that's just like yeah yeah no, that does make sense because, like, <clears throat> on the Bigfoot subject, people tend to say, like, they move really fast, which, to me, that could also explain. Oh my god, that's insane. I just love weird ass shit like this. Mm hmm. The other thing, too, is, like, the impossibilities of certain things. Like, as an example... Uh, oh, hold on, I'm getting cold. Okie dokie. Hold on to that thought. I love conversations that really, like, challenge your mind. That really like make you stop and think, whoa. For instance, the man who killed John Lennon was actually a fan of John Lennon and actually got his autograph sometime before actually killing John Lennon. Like the world is so weird. Like the human brain is just weird. And how did the human brain get its name? A brain must have named it. You know? It's weird ass shit. Like when you sit back and you really think about this stuff, it's just... eye-opening. And freaky. a lot to think about. I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah, like I was saying, um, even the mind itself is, like, amazing. Yeah, it's just all because, fucky. Because, like, the, even, like, in karate and whatever, right? Like, there's, like, people that believe that they have this supernatural power to where they could use the force of their key and or whatever to, like, push things away like if someone comes at you without even touching them you could like knock them on their ass yeah yeah and then it's like what do you call that if you were to really really convince someone otherwise like again this goes back into uh we're doing good scarlet um if you were to go into the matrix right yes um, it's basically all just a figment of your imagination. If you think it's real, then it becomes real, right? Yeah. 
So by making people believe that you have this power to, like, push them with energy, they will literally feel it and literally believe it. To a point where you could literally take down a man ten times your size without even touching them. You know? Yeah. It, it's, it's stuff like that that just drives me crazy. Like, just thinking about it. Yeah, it's... Very eye-opening. Yeah, we're good, Scarlet. We're just having, like, some big brain conversations. I would say thought-provoking, but yeah. The other thing, too, is, like... A lot of people are like, Oh, yeah, no, you, no human beings can't do this and or that. And it's like, you know... Um, there's, like, history of, like... Oh, this man was so fast, he was like a blur, right? Yeah. Or he can move so fast that, like, you know, like, this X would happen, or, like... An... Anyway, or, like, an after image would happen. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's like... If you think about it, yes. Because there are people that are fast enough to, like hit you without even seeing it. Yeah. And then at the same time, it's like, if you were to really, really turn off the parts of your brain that hold you back from, like, really pushing your body to its limits, you know, just imagine what you could possibly do. Yeah. So that, then that suddenly makes sense, because a lot of these things people would do back in the day, like, they didn't have anything better to do. Besides, learn how to be that fast. So, you know, it, it is a possibility that they could have learned how to do something that amazing. True. I never thought of it that way. It's like even the ancient Egyptians created the, uh... The, uh, Tesla? Not the Tesla, the, uh... Oh, what the fuck is it? Yeah, Nikola Tesla. The, uh, the thing he was creating there, the tower where electricity just jumps from one tower to the next. Yeah. The power things, like, without wires. The, the, tes ancient, the Tesla yeah. coils? The Tesseract, yeah. The ancient Egyptians did that way before he was even around. It's just so fucky to think mm -hmm. about. Because they recently found out that these things, these pots, with like all this copper and metal and stuff put inside them, <laughs> and whatnot, where uh, they recently found out that they were just like ancient Egyptian, Egyptian, Egyptian batteries. Whoa. Yeah. Because if you look it up, um, <laughs> when they tried to do like <laughs> discoveries in ancient Egypt and whatnot, there was no oil lanterns, and there was no uh, what do you call that? Uh, ashes from like the torches. So how did they uh, get light? You know? Yeah. Wow. And, uh, because there's, like, a giant water, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, like, underground, there's, like, a giant pool of water, right, that surrounds most of Egypt? Yeah. Underneath? And then it's, like, if you look at the pyramid, a lot of it was made out of limestone. Limestone is very conductive. And they did this, like, pulse thing to see how far deep the pyramid goes and how it looks on the inside and a lot of it are just slants and slopes so then it's like it reaches far, all the way to the far fuck down to where you would find the water and then by that doing that because there was supposed to be a gold tip on Egypt it would act as a conductor for electricity causing lightning to strike it causing the electricity from the lightning to j bounce around on the limestone into the water causing a ripple effect within the water to spread out the electricity and then causing it to uh, 
to charge up said batteries that they created out of clay. Whoa. Or at least that's, that, that's the theory. That's just... Oh, that's so cool if it's true. I mean, it's slowly becoming the reality. At least that's what they're believing it to be. Yeah. Because there's no other explanation for it otherwise. It's so cool. I love learning about weird shit. Yeah, this is what I mean by like learning stuff like this. Like it's it's only a theory, but it's a very interesting one. Yeah. And then which got me thinking about it. It's like there's a place, there's a desert, right, where it's consistently always thundering and storming. I can't remember where. But uh it's like why not like put poles out there. Granted, that'd be very dangerous. Uh, hook up poles and then get magnets so that way the lightning is attracted to the said magnets. Then from there, use other poles with other magnets to kind of like derive the electricity that's being shot into it into like a like a loop. Yeah. And then use, it, and then use said loop to kind of like convert that to energy. Yeah, kind of like an energy have... farm. Yeah, so then you'll have a consistent source of renewable energy. Like you said, it's probably dangerous as fuck, but still, yeah, it's an interesting concept. Not to mention, it's like, how do you harness the energy from lightning, you know what I mean? It's yeah. hotter than the sun, so, you know. There's a lot going into that that needs to be worked out first. Well, it's the thought I had when I was a teenager. I love these conversations, though. Mm -hmm. You always keep me thinking. Well, that's the point, is to never stop thinking. Keep me on your true, yeah. You and my dad would get along so well. Probably. But that's what develops Alzheimer's and what makes people ignorant is the fact that they think that Oh, I'm done with school. I don't have to learn anymore. Yeah. Like, I didn't go to college because I thought it was a waste of time, but it doesn't mean I don't learn things. But then again, you also got to realize that, like, what do you call that? Um, you're not an expert just because you Google something. Yes. Yeah. Which is why I specifically go out and test things myself, which is why I spend a lot of money. It's like a lot of people tell you, oh, buy Beats by Trade. No, they're, they're the worst. They're obvious. They're absolutely the worst. They're good for people that just want to listen to, like, generic music. But, like, if you're looking for, like, audio technica stuff like I am, like, to, like, record music and such, th then you're going to need something better. Generic music. Like, if you want to listen to generic music, they're okay. <laughs> I mean, it's like... <laughs> there's, like, s genres of music out there nobody's ever heard of. And there's, like, noises that, like, musicians hide inside of their music. That take specific types of headphones and or speakers to even hear. That's wicked. It is. It's weird. Like, I like... I'm, I'm a weirdo. I think we all know this by now. But I like to listen to Norwegian black metal. And... Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I feel like that's a music genre that would not be able to keep up with rinky-dink headphones. Did you know that Norwegian uh, death metal is basically the um, epitome of what you can do with really, really cheap crap gear? Yes. I love, like, the whole creation of Norwegian black metal. I used to just call it life metal. It's Be like, 
the uh, pedal they used for Norwegian black metal was considered to be the worst pedal ever created. And uh, what they did was they took that pedal, maxed out all the settings on it to where it just sounds like white noise, got an amp that just like any amp, it really doesn't matter. You can get like the shittiest amp in the world. And um, so whatever cheap amp they could buy. And then um, they got whatever guitars they could afford, which was basically just any pointed guitars. And pointed guitars back in the day were like very, very cheap like cost with very very cheap quality and the pickups were basically just Chinese made so it was like you know oh here's some wires here's a couple of like magnets and a couple of poles and some plastic you know Odin. it's like kid it's like kid toy stuff Odin you got a cookie Odin sit sit Thank you, Mangy. How are you? But yeah, it's like pickups you would get from like a kid's toy, like a kid's guitar or a beginner's guitar, you know what I mean? Like just really, really cheap quality. And that's how Black uh, Norwegian Death Metal is made. That's what I love about it. What makes me really, really amazed is, uh, what's his name? Um, Eddie Van Halen built his own guitar and it, he just made it out of like B stock parts and like built his own pickups and like just rewired them himself and just it looked his guitar looked like shit and if you were to play it it would sound like shit but in his hands it's just amazing I was so upset when he passed away same I started crying like so fucking upset mm -hmm. I'm still upset thinking about it. The other thing too, Brian May from Queen, the guitarist. Yeah. Hit like the the sounds you hear from there are like so smooth and so perfect, guitar wise. But his guitar was made out of a table, uh, a needle, like for crotcheting, and uh, nails and such. I love how you say that. <laughs> <sighs> That crotchety? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know, Mangy. I'm so sorry. I'm just waiting for Mangy to unban me. <laughs> Never. Probably. Mangy doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> Mangy's going through a bit right now. I wouldn't know. I'm not. I'm. I'm still banned. Oh shit, it's past 8 o'clock. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, eh? It's fucking past 8 o'clock. We're gonna, we're gonna fucking be late to go get ourselves a Mickey. I am hungry. Oh, so am I. I could go for some fucking Timbits and a fucking double double right now. Turn into a fucking Irish coffee or something. When Artem Hortons left, I was so upset. That's <laughs> man. Sometimes it's kind of shit, sometimes it's kind of good. Now we have, like, this mediocre knockoff chicken wing place where the Tim Hortons used to be, and it always makes me sad to drive by, and I'm like, no, my cupcakes. If you ever drink coffee, just get McDonald's coffee. It's the original Tim Hortons recipe, anyway. I know, but but Tim Hortons used to have these ice cream cupcakes, at least here, and bitch, my fat ass loved it. I know. Oh, I miss it. So Good, I miss uh, Tim Hortons. They used to have, like, big titty goth chicks for, like, waitresses and whatnot. Now it's just, like, sweaty dudes. Ew. Yeah. Gross. Okay, I think I'm gonna end stream. Looking at, looking at my calendar, I believe we have a collab tomorrow. 
Do we? We do. Do we? We do. Do we? do. We're playing Raft. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do we? <laughs> we do. <laughs> I swear, we have a collab tomorrow. Because I said, if I got Raft, who would play Raft with me? And you're like, me! <laughs> Is that a yes? <laughs> I have never, I have never played it. Like, I've loaded it up, but I've never played it, so... Fucking hate that game. What? <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, I'm gonna do this off stream, but uh, I, I got some... I got one thing being made for you right now, and one <gasps> thing to add to your uh, background. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. But also, before I go, I will... Actually, I don't even know who I'm going to raid tonight because my girlfriend is not streaming tonight. You could raid uh, Super Antlers Twitch. Can you write that for me? There you go. I'm hungry. You and me both. I don't know what I'm gonna have. Soup. Soup does sound good. I want chowder. Specifically. Chowder. 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 Ch no, it's, it's chowder. We don't say ERs here, we say A's. No, I'm doing the uh, JFK from Clone High. Chowder. It's Chowda. Chad. It's with an A. You can't say the E-R, you're supposed to say it with an A. It's Chowda. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. Okay, and with that, we are going to raid Super Adler's Twitch. I like him, he's gay. <laughs> As if we he's needed... Good. As if we needed any more incentive. There you go. I mean, he's got a very open, like, safe community for all people. I love that. Yeah, that's one of the reasons that I like him. Okay, I'm going to send you guys on over to him. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Hello. Oh my god, you and hello. Okay. Wait, I'm going to break the raid. <laughs>